Tandy Gas, Manitoba. Good morning, everybody. We have this load behind us on the flatbed. I'm running into Winnipeg right now. I picked this up south of Minneapolis yesterday. I'm running into Winnipeg now in Manitoba. I'm gonna drop it off, and then we're gonna rush back over to Kenora where we were the other day and grab another load. It's gonna be a bit of another rush, rush kind of day. That's what every day seems to be, and that's okay. At least it means we're busy, right? So let's get out there. We don't want to waste any time. Before we can go anywhere, I don't want to be staring at this dust all day. Swiffer! Hashtag not a nab. Don't know why I just said that, but Swiffer. It's the quicker picker upper, or no, wait, that's Bounty. Bounty, the quicker picker upper. Swiffer, the, the not so quicker picker upper, I don't know. Works good in the truck anyway. This is their uh, their pet model. Good for pet hair and so it works great for dust. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, there we go. Oh, don't forget up here. Don't forget up here. Everything, I don't want to stare at dust all day. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, now I gotta wipe this down. Oh no. Oh no, okay, I put that away. Shiny. <laughs> this is the way you start the day. <laughs> nice. Let's roll. You guys ready? Buckled in? Saddled up?
100 meters. Take the entrance to the ride on Highway 100 East Kenora. Got a few friends I'm taking along with me. They needed a ride. We're at this rest area just into Ontario and we have an empty trailer. Got unloaded real quick. I got there at, oh, when did I get there? About 9.30 and I was out of there by 10. It took a half hour. There's no one in line, no one waiting. First come, first serve. I was first. I got served. So we got to deal with all this construction traffic that's going through Ontario. They're uh, twinning this highway or making it into a four lane. My last time I said that, uh, someone was telling me that uh, they've never heard it called twinned before. Maybe that's a prairie term because, you know, running through the hills, the highway's not really twinned because both directions sort of take their own path to get around the hills on the prairies they're two identical highways side by side one going one way one going the other way we call it a twin highway maybe that's just me but I just meant four lane divided truck is getting a little bit dirty but we're gonna wash it before we go home for the weekend or when we get home on the weekend and that'll be that so we gotta go a little bit further down the road yet Oh, it's such a beautiful day. I just want to stand outside all day. You know what? I'd love to be sitting on the beach right now. It's just perfect. <sighs> Picturing it in my head. Yeah, on a nice lake, freshwater, it's not the ocean. No, I don't like the ocean. 
Things in the ocean want to eat me. I don't like that. Nope, it's a nice freshwater lake. Yeah. Beautiful. Water's not too cold. It's beautiful. And we're back. Okay, that was a fun vacation. Let's get back to work. The sooner we get to Kenora, the sooner we get loaded. The sooner we get loaded, the sooner we get to Brainerd. The sooner we get to Brainerd, the sooner we get unloaded. The sooner we get unloaded, the sooner we get our reload. The sooner we get our reload, the sooner we go home. You follow?
Foreman, maybe? I like Master of Dynamite better. over the top just to keep the tarp from flapping so that uh, those corners stay put and they don't rip. Hopefully that'll work. But the guy, like, this is the same load I took earlier this week and that guy who loaded it, loaded it higher and center so I could just use two tarps, right? Now I had to use all three tarps. So it was a little bit more work, but now we're getting her done, right? It is a hot one out here. It's a beautiful lake right over there. I just want to go jump in so bad. It's the corner of Highway 17 and 71. This takes us down to Fort Francis. And then we cross into International Falls. Tying down the load and tarping it. Just got myself soaked in sweat. So I had to change all my clothes. It felt like I had just jumped in the lake, which gave me the idea. I should go jump in a lake. I already feel like I jumped in a lake. And there's the lake over there. But I don't know how to get to it. And I already changed, so. So it's time to get going. Time to keep going. We got six, six hours. I'm not even moving, Karen. I'm talking to them now, not you. She gets jealous. She gets jealous. Whew. Drink some water, stay hydrated, start moseying down the road. I don't have a reload tomorrow yet once I get this unloaded. I guess they're going to see what time I get unloaded at because I won't be there first thing. I'm thinking I'll probably make it down to Deer River tonight, sleep there again, and we'll see what time we get there, if there's a lineup and how fast we get unloaded, and then we'll uh, check in with the load gods and see if they have something for us or what's going on. Let's go.
So we made it here to Deer River, Minnesota. About an hour and a half. This is my usual stop on my way down if I can't quite make it. I ran out of time on my 14 hour clock. So once I'm in the US here, I can only run 14 hours or work 14 hours a day by law. In Canada, it's 16 hours, but since I'm in the US now, I have to follow their rules. So I started my day in the morning, 14 hours later, they tell me I gotta stop. I still got lots of energy. Just walking around here at the truck stop. There's a bar and grill over there, and it's already closed though. Nothing to really do with it. It's such a beautiful night out here. I, I just wanna be outside. Mosquitoes aren't that bad. I'm not getting eaten alive being out here. So you'll notice that I parked opposite the other trucks. Every other truck is pointed the other direction. There's a good reason for that. It's because the guy to my right there, or to the right, I guess my left, the guy next to me has an engine fan. He has his truck idling, even though it's a perfect night. And his engine fan keeps kicking on and off. Now mine does the same thing. I left mine on right now to demonstrate. Can you hear the engine fan? Just turned off, you hear that? That's what I mean when I say the engine fan that kicks on and off and on and off and it's really loud. We'll sit here and wait until mine kicks on again. See, I'm, I got my engine at the rear end of all the other trucks purposely. I came in this way, same way as them to begin. Then I realized that guy had his truck idling, engine fan roaring on and off. So I figured, you know what, I'll turn around so I don't have to listen to it. Put my head over here. And now I'll show you what I mean. You hear the truck idling now, right? Just wait. My engine fan will kick on soon. Just imagine trying to sleep beside this. We'll just have to wait. Any second now. See, I could sleep beside this. A nice steady noise, just the sound of an engine puts me right to sleep. I actually like it. But when the engine fan kicks on, it startles me. Right there, you hear that? That's what I don't like. And that's what this guy is doing over there. We're gonna wait for it to turn off and you'll hear the difference. It'll be just a second. That's what I'm talking about. So if I would have to leave my truck idling, like if it was winter time, I have my engine fan button right here, click that on, and then it turns the engine fan on and it keeps it on, so at least it's a steady noise. But since it's a nice night, Sometimes there's a very good reason to keep the truck idling. Some guys have a sleep apnea machine or other machines that help them breathe at night. And if you turn the truck off all night with those machines running, it'll kill the battery and you won't be able to start your truck in the morning. So that's why I, I don't get too upset about it. It is what it is. However, if I have the option to change my situation, I will, like I did today. When I pulled in here, I had my nose pointed the other way, right beside him. I stopped, I listened, I was like, oh, this guy's got his truck idling. It might be for a good reason, or it might just be wasting fuel and no reason at all. But, none of my business, right? So what I did, I just pulled forward, I turned around, I came back in, and I put my truck at the back of his truck, so that all that noise is over there. I can still hear it from here. I can still hear it every time it kicks on. It still bugs me a little bit, but like I said, there could be a very good reason why he has his truck idling. The guy beside me over here on this side also has his truck idling, but at a very low idle. So he could be damaging his engine if he does that every night over a like long period of time, over, over years. Uh, if you're gonna idle your truck for a, a length of time, you need to bump that idle up 
put your cruise on and press the set button just to bump your idle up so that it's at about between 800 and 1000 RPM at least. Look at your oil pressure, your PSI, make sure your PSI gauge is up to every truck is a little different or every brand is a little different, every engine is a little different. Got to get that oil pressure up so that the top of your motor is being lubricated otherwise all that oil just sits at the bottom. It's very hard on the engine to idle at a low speed like that for a long time bad for any diesel engine to idle at all but it's much much worse for it to idle at low idle I'm gonna bring it up to a healthier healthier rpm when I idle my truck overnight like on the really cold nights during the winter when I have to otherwise I won't be able to start it again I bring my idle up to 1000 rpm and the way I do that is I press I turn my cruise on and I press set now on my truck when I press set it brings the rpm up to 800 and then I press resume and that brings the idle up. If I keep pressing resume, the idle will go up, 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 up. And if I press set again, the idle will go down, down, down. And I keep it at about a thousand RPM. That's for this truck. This truck's got a Cummins ISX in it. Every engine's a little different. But this truck in particular, Peterbilt's and Kenworth's, they have obnoxiously loud engine fans. It even bothers me inside my own truck. I'm so self-conscious about it, because when I have to idle my own truck, I just show you, I turn the engine fan on, so it just stays on the whole time. So at least it's a steady noise, right? So, depends. I'm a little picky about, about sleeping. I can sleep through anything. This thing behind the, the truck idling, over there, I could sleep through it. But my question would be, why stay in a situation when I could be in a better situation, right? Let's turn around and it's quieter this way, see? Two points for Trucker Josh, huh? Using the old noggin. It's, it's not just for looks. Got a few brain cells left in there yet, don't worry. See? So thanks for joining me today, everybody. Got nothing else to say. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, join our family here. We've been making videos a long time. You can go to my playlist and see them all in order. And make sure you turn on all notifications because they get released at different times throughout the day. Turn on your notifications so you get a little ding on your phone. And even if you're busy at the time, you're like, ding, oh, look, Trucker Josh uploaded a video. You just make a mental note. Go back to that later and uh, watch it when you have a chance. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Take care, have a good day.